Psalms 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. God may be speaking to you right now, but you're perhaps too busy to listen. When you become still, you understand the voice of God. You are inspired. You're infilled with energy. And your whole day can change. So many of us live such busy lives, and we face the beginning of the week with that busyness. We think of all the things that we have to do. And people get so busy in the living of doing things that they forget about the important thing, about the process of being refilled spiritually. This is your time. This is your moment to do that. Are you so busy in a rush through this day that you scarcely have a single moment for quiet contemplation? And do you have time for prayer? If this sounds like you, you need to be still. Even if you write it on your calendar, this is my time to be still. This is my time to pray. And you make an appointment with God. When you do that, God will keep the appointment. Well, my friend, we live in a busy world. It's a world that is filled with distractions, frustrations, and all sorts of complications. But if we allow those distractions of the clamorous world to separate us from God's peace, we do ourselves, our day, our life, a profound disservice. If we are to maintain clear minds and compassionate hearts, we must take time each day for prayer and for meditation on God's presence. And if we make ourselves still in the presence of our Creator, our Creator recreates us. Our Creator recreates our day. Our Creator works by our side and in and through us to solve our problems in, in light speed. We must quiet our minds. We must quiet our hearts so that we can hear God's whisper, and sense God's love. Nothing is more important, nothing, than the time you spend with God. God may be speaking to you right now, but if you're too busy to listen, well, you will not hear and you won't receive the help. You have free will on whether to be so busy with the things or you have free will to be busy being infilled with God's peace. I pray you go the path of peace.